Hey there everybody, it's Daikaiju Tony here, and I'm here today to talk about my second favorite superhero movie of the year. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. Venom, let there be carnage. And be sure to stop by Cosmic Comics where we sell these. Venom g -Fil, Carnage g -Fil. they're so good, come on. <laughs> come on, get them. Wait, what about the Eternals? Wasn't that any good? No. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> All right, Venom, let there be carnage is a superhero movie that is allowed to be fun in comparison to something like Eternals that's like super, super mopey and makes me want to sit down like this in the theaters and go, oh, 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 I'm so, oh, I can't, can't, oh, I can't feel much. That was you when yes. I to go see Eternals? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Venom has soul. It has heart. It's the best buddy cop movie of the year. And the rundown is right after the events of the first Venom movie, Eddie Brock starts interviewing Cletus Cassidy, and at a certain point, Cletus bites his hand and nibbles on it, and that's how Carnage gets into him. <laughs> now, this isn't a, this isn't exactly a movie that you're supposed to take 100% seriously. I didn't. <laughs> um, there's like some moments that made me question what was going on, like Carnage plugging his fingers in a computer and somehow connecting to the internet and lo looking into a database to find his girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, Shriek's in this movie, and Shriek's <laughs> Carnage's girlfriend. <laughs> um, lots of drama between Eddie and Venom. Like, they fight a lot. Um, it gets... It's supposed... To, there's instances where it's supposed to be dark, but it's kind of played off humorously. Like, we all know that's established that Venom and Eddie, they're a match when they bond together. They're friends! At a certain point, they break up. Venom starts body hopping, and uh, as a result, uh, people die because of it, and uh, Venom doesn't really care. <laughs> wow. I thought he was supposed to be a symbiote, not a parasite. Well, um, when he's switching from person to person, are they playing changes? Ch -ch changes. <laughs> I don't know the words. I don't sing anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, the reason why it's more of a symbiote with Eddie rather than being a parasite because they're bonded together and um, Eddie is more accessible while using Venom in comparison to a lot of the people that Venom body popped from. <laughs> um, Woody Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy is awesome. At first I had doubts that he could pull off a good psychopath. I but felt he was good. He, he's good at it. Um, he's a very appropriate psychopath. Yeah. Very awesome fight scenes between Venom and Carnage and Shriek. A lot of cool rampage scenes of Carnage. Shriek's in it? Yeah, Shriek is uh, Cletus' girlfriend. Uh. Um, a lot of cool Easter eggs here and there. And if you're, you know, familiar with the comics, uh, Patrick Mulligan's in it. He's a pretty good character. Um, does, does it follow any specific storyline from Venom or Carnage or Spider-Man? Uh, a handful of them. Like, Mismatched together? Yeah, well, a lot of it's pulled from uh, Carnage's first appearance, especially with Carnage meeting Shriek. Well, um, there's a lot of instances pulled straight from panels, like Eddie chilling out in the beach with Venom, just a man in a symbiote hanging it's out. A beautiful thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> and coming from someone who wanted Carnage to be in a movie since 2007, this was so gratifying to look at. <laughs> And yeah, if you there's a post credit scene, of course, that you know ties into a certain movie coming out soon, and yeah, it, it, I'm so hyped for the future of Venom, who is arguably better than Spider-Man right now in terms of movies, because I, I just so hot right now. I, I just like the Venom movies more than the current Spider-Man movies more. <laughs> How do you think they're gonna work Spider-Man into it? I mean, Venom in the comics really can't exist without Spider-Man. How, uh, how are they gonna do that? Multiverse. Do you think they're gonna do multiverse stuff? Uh, do you want do you want me to spoil it or no? Uh, uh no, no. Okay. No. no. Okay. I'm not gonna tell. Well, Andy Serkis did kind of. To, uh, announced beforehand that Venom is in a different universe from the MCU. So, oh. yeah. I thought there was a poster that said, like, Spider-Man Criminal or something in the movie. Uh, that's Morbius. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. My, my, my mistake. Mm hmm So, yeah, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, the Dude, best parody of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies ever. <laughs> 
Do you think there's going to be more uh, symbiotes? Are they trying to introduce more symbiotes? Well, um, Patrick Mulligan's in there, so. I, I don't know who Patrick Mulligan is. Oh, okay. Well, um. Mm. What? <laughs> you don't know who he really? is either. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, yes, there, there will be more symbiotes. Okay. Okay. How many stars? Out of five. Uh, yeah, is that what we do? Four five? stars. Four, four stars. stars uh, three point nine stars missing one. Wow. <laughs> he made up his own stars at nine point nine. No, it's either three and a half or four. No, no, let him have the three point nine. Okay, fine. three and a half out of four. Because turtles. Uh, <laughs> one, I guess. But you did see a turtles, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the reason why it's missing half a star is because it doesn't have the best. Superhero theme song ever by Eminem, the Venom song. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Any uh, like, share, and subscribes? Oh, yeah. Uh, be sure to check out Toku Titan Cast and the channel Titan Goji, where we live stream every Saturday. And yeah, I also showed off my Venom figure on camera last stream, and I did the Bully Maguire attire, and I may have danced on camera, so. Check it out. All right. Thanks, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Let Tony know what you think.